Are you ready to hear a Celtic fiddle tune that is so beautiful and also easy to play? Well, if you are a violinist or a fiddle player, grab your instrument and let's sit down and play. Hello, my name is Catherine Clare, and on this channel, I share songs, stories, tips, and lessons from years of experience performing, touring, recording, and teaching music. In this video, I will teach you how to play one of my favorite fiddle tunes of all time, the Aaron Boat song, which comes from Scotland. But first, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys are all awesome. So happy to have you here. And if you are just joining me, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for great new content that's coming out every single week. So this tune is an E minor and I will be playing the backing track on guitar um, in the video. But if you have somebody in your life that could accompany you on this tune, either on the guitar or even the piano, um, please find them, send them this video, have them learn how to accompany this um, and play it together. And I will be showing the chords that go along with the tune at the end of the video. So stick around. So first I'm gonna play the tune start to finish, um, just so that you can hear the tune. And then I will teach it to you. start um, on our D string, the first finger or E, and I'm just going to play this in sections for you so you can just hear it little by little and then we'll play the whole section together. So here's the very first part. Let's just do that part. So we start first finger on the D string, first finger, second finger, and that's an F sharp, so it's a high second finger. So first finger, second finger, first finger. Then we jump right over to the A string, to our first finger on the A string, which is B, and we go B, C sharp, D, so that's also a high second finger. So we've got a high second finger on the D string and a high second finger on the A string. So also just in terms of notes, E, F sharp, E, B, C sharp, D. So let's play that again. Great. And then we're going to go open A, second finger on the D string, open D, or open A, open A, F sharp, D. So we're going to do that twice. So let's put those two little sections together. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's do that again. This is going to be very familiar to you. First finger again. It's exactly the same as the very beginning. So this is a little bit different. We go A, F sharp, D, and we land on E. Yes. All right. Now that's the whole first A part. Now, one little note that I want to give you about the bowing and the rhythm of this, this is in three, four time. So 
one, two, three, one, two, three. And to get that sort of feeling, I think of the feeling of this boat and of the movement of the waves is that we have these um, long, so we have these dotted quarter notes, but so we're gonna go. take a long bow and then we kind of conserve the bow so that it has that that kind of movement of the you're really pulling down you're pulling quickly on the bow for that first you know the downbeat at the beginning of each measure so let's put it back together on the a part so here we go we're starting first finger on the d string part there at the end of the A part, I play that really straight. So I just play that three quarter notes. So we've got this kind of dotted rhythm for most of it. And then at the end, I change it up and I like to go so just changes it up a little bit. So, okay, let's go on to the B part. Um, I'll play this first part. Open E. So that's open E, one E, low two, so this is G, low two on the E. So open, one open, low two, one open, or E, F, E, G, F, E, however you want to do it. So third finger. F sharp, open D. So, I love the pattern of that. And in violin and fiddle playing with this instrument, I love the pattern. So in my mind, I see the three, one, three of my fingers and the open, two, open. So that's just something that kind of helps me to remember that in my mind. Here's the first part of the B part again. Beautiful. Let's go on. It's very familiar. Here we go. Now, here's the difference. Three, one, back to the three, the D, and open E. Okay? So let's do that whole first part again. at the top of the B part. Now, the end of the B part ends the same way that the A part ends. So it goes back down to that E on the um, D string, right? First finger on the D string. Okay, so I am going to now play the tune two times through. And you'll notice in, um, as I've been teaching it to you, I'm not doing any slurs. So the very first time through, I'm just gonna play it totally straight, no slurs, no embellishments, nothing like that. The second time through, I'm gonna add my own flavor to it just so that you can hear, and that might give you an idea of some things that you can add to it. Um, but it's this tune is actually beautiful just to be played 
very, very straight, very just beautiful, those long bows. Keeping in mind that rhythm is a great way to sort of enhance the spirit behind the tune. So one more time, just to review on the bowing, because I do think this is important. And this is a great um, practice that you can do, is that... It's a great thing to practice. You can practice a scale with that, but just really getting that kind of feeling behind it is awesome. All right, so here we go. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed learning that tune. Please, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for a lot more great content coming out every week. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the tune and also if there are any other tunes you're interested in learning, I'd be happy to help you out. Playing tunes especially is such a wonderful thing to do with other people. So I'm really excited that at least we got to play it together today. And I hope that this tune brings you a lot of joy in your life and in your community. And wherever you are in the world right now, I hope that you are doing well. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>